I, yo, a lot has happened. Um, I've been basically, it's kind of been forced, um, but not for long, my friends, not for long. Uh, and I finally actually found safety. And I, both me and my friend, actually dare whoever decided to stalk me to find me here where I am now and try anything. I just dare you. <laughs> but let's just say I am not in danger anymore. I am in one of the best spots I've ever been in life and I'm just having to kind of heal from the really intense harassment situation I dealt with with my neighbors and then the subsequent stalking from them. Um, I ended up staying in the mountains for a week after that and just kind of hiding, um, trying to heal, do everything that I could for the betterment of myself. Did some yoga in the mountains. It was really nice. So all in all, it was for the better. It all happened for a reason. Uh, things with the old lady I was staying with went sour for seemingly no reason. Sorry, there's dogs barking. Um, but apparently that situation was not what I thought it was. And another person who likes to paint pictures that aren't true, which is exactly what I ran into with my neighbors and them hating me because they wanted to paint a picture of me of who they think that I am and who they want me to be versus who I actually am and giving me a chance as a human being. Apparently there are just people who are like that and will never ever change and will just see me and judge me and not even give the inside a chance. So guess what? I'm not gonna give people like that a chance anymore in life because I've wasted too much time on that. So there are a lot of things that I wanna address but I'm not sure if I will in this video. But let's just say I'm very aware of how I've come off on my channel for the last like six or so months. Um, I have not been okay and I'm very aware of that and I've shared it in a way to help me grow. It helps me by being able to look back at myself, if that makes sense. And it's it's helped me throughout all of these, throughout this process of having to move and having to change so much through it all. It has helped me on those moments and learn what I need to, to grow some more. So it's very interesting. I know it's probably very odd to a lot of people that I share my mental health and my like worst mental states on YouTube. And I clearly am not sharing everything, but I did for a while there in the beginning of 2023, share quite a bit about my journey. And I've obviously reclused a bit since then, um, but I do want to talk a little bit more about certain things and how, how I didn't explain them very well. And I want to go into detail about them. So the other thing you're probably wondering from this video is I cut my hair. I cut all my hair off. Um, there will be a video coming out about that. My friend actually cut it for me. He's cut, he cut his ex's hair for a really long time. So I trusted him and I actually like for a long time have wanted to, if I did cut my hair short, I wanted to leave a part of it long. So I left this part long, but I'm not sure how I feel about it. Cause I just did this for the first time. And that looks really good. My hair looks really good short. It's strange. I'm still getting used to it. This is like four days old now, but I don't know. I like to keep this long piece for like nostalgia and um, we're going to be bleaching it soon and I'm going to be doing it colored again because I cannot have normal colored hair. I just can't. I don't feel right. I feel too bland. So yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, I just really wanted to give you guys an update for people who are worried about me. Um, I was like asking for help in my videos when I was moving and like freaking out, not knowing what I was gonna do because I was not in a good spot financially. And then I subsequently lost my job after moving. So it was really bad, but I think I might delete all those videos where I am asking for help because I have a friend I'm staying with now who is letting me stay for however long I need to. He's very, very helpful. He's very kind and knows that trauma takes a lot of healing and I've been through way too much to think that I can just keep going 
Um, it's really not good for me to force myself to keep going when I am not at the capacity to, if that makes any sense. So I'm really glad that I'm getting, finally I have the ability to just have calm around me, have trust, and just a good healthy environment for me to slowly get better and have a nice friendship throughout too. I wanted to share with you guys that I'm okay, that I will be coming out with more content soon. Um, it's just been a lot for me processing everything that has happened because a lot has happened <laughs> and it got really freaky for a while um, when whoever stopped me, I guarantee you it was my neighbors um, because then after that for a whole entire week every day I woke up to harassing comments from them on my YouTube channel. And then one of their comments was them denying that it was them that stalked me and printed photos out of me. If it's not you, why are you even mentioning it? <laughs> These people are insane to deny it when they are spending their time for a whole week harassing me when I've had zero contact with them. Okay, keep denying it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Editing Raven here. One of the funny things about this too is these people really want to convince me and paint a picture to me that there are many people who are willing to harass me in this way and to literally the point of stalking me. Um, guys, it's actually just you. I have not had anybody harass me or have fun bullying me for actual years of my life now. It's only been you. <laughs> so to try to make me believe it's somebody else in my life Thank you for trying, but it's over. I do not believe a word that you guys say now. You just look insane to me. Yeah, the, the only reason they did that was to um, personally attack me and my mental health and try to make me feel worse about myself. And sadly, it worked for a while. Um, it's been really hard to get past the thoughts of these people hate me for no reason and these people have made up many reasons to hate me that are not who I am, are not things that I have done, and they're denying their own behavior. Like, it's been such a gaslighty adventure, and I am so done with it to the point where I moved away from them and they decided to stalk me because they just couldn't let me go. Cute, you guys, um, but I would, now I would just like to uh, be left alone. So thank you. Please just leave me the f alone or I will be pursuing more legal action. <sighs> so yeah, I just wanted you, the people who care on my channel, to know that I'm safe. A lot of changes are happening. I have a wonderful environment that I'm going to be able to film a lot of content in once I am mentally there and I'm getting there. This is the first time me filming myself in over a week, so I kind of started to run into like, oh no, feeling like I have filmer's block because I definitely run into writer's block and I have run into writer's block for quite a few months now, which sucks. I keep forgetting where the camera lens is. Sorry guys, it's here. I will try to remember that. Um, <laughs> it's been a week and I can't remember how to film videos as if I ever knew how. Anyway, I kind of felt like I was running into that, but I realized like every time I get scared to film or feel like I don't have any creativity, I just have to force myself to record myself and then it just all word vomits out of me. So that is what I'm doing now. Uh, my friend left for the store for a while. I'm finding myself extremely bored and thought that I would just make a, a quick little thing for you that is now over 10 minutes long, I think. So. Whoever's made it this far, thank you so much for caring about me. You guys are amazing. Having a small group of people care about me throughout this has been what has kept me going because throughout other times in my life when I haven't had any support, it really was detrimental to me getting better and prevented me from getting better because I didn't have support around me. So even just the tiny little support I've had on YouTube throughout all of this crap has helped me feel good about myself and sustain like a good, a good grounding and feeling like, feel like people support me, even though not every single person on here does. I know that, but it is still nice. So thank you guys who are subscribed and care about me. It means so freaking much. 
Um, please like this video if you did make it this far, because I'd love to see who made it this far. I This is kind of a offshoot video about me talking about it, what feels like nothing, but usually when I feel like that, it, it turns out good while I'm editing it, so I need to stop doubting myself. But I'd love to see who made it this far and who does care about me. And also subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell if you want to see when I come out with my new content that is going to be filmed in a completely new place and a lot of new equipment that I'm going to be able to utilize that I've never even known or had access to before because my friend is just so freaking awesome and nice and wants to help me and already has access to a lot of these things so it's great so yeah <sighs> thank you so much for watching if you have any video ideas for me too i have a whole file of them that i could just get started on but <laughs> i would love to see what you guys would like to see for me too so if you have any ideas let me know in the comments whatever you are doing have a good day good night good evening bye guys